up, gentlemen? So, serious question. Is calling somebody or referring to them as a beta similar to calling somebody a or is it more like weak and pathetic? Weak, pathetic, puss. Beta, 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 beta! Behaviors, gentlemen, we gotta stop it, you gotta knock it off. Because until you do, you are never going to ultimately reach your true alpha potential. Gentlemen, the first thing, the first thing that's holding you back in terms of beta behaviors is... Jealous! You're jealous, you're jealous, you're jealous. Are you jealous? If you are jealous or envious of somebody else's achievements or accomplishments or the way that they look, the way that they do anything, if you are looking at other people people and thinking it's not fair. Why them versus you? You are absolutely limiting your ability to kick ass and be amazing. So much of this toxic cancel culture is revolving around jealousy. People see other people being successful, other people being amazing, and they're like, yo, it's not fair. Why do they get to have special treatment? Why do they get to achieve certain things and I didn't? The alpha mindset is inspired and motivated by successful people. Instead of being envious, they're like, yo, what can I learn from this person? What tips can I take? from them and how they achieve certain things, apply them to my life and get what I want so that I can be successful like them. The second, beta behavior is feeling guilty about what you like, what you want, all right? There is nobody that you need to please in this world other than you. It doesn't matter what you like, what you're into. You don't need to feel guilty about it, whether or not you're into like, like weird stuff, like weird stuff, be into it. It doesn't matter. If it's not hurting other people, don't worry about it. In terms of your job, your career, your motivation, your passion, it doesn't matter if you're your parents don't like it or approve of it, gentlemen. You need to decide whether or not you're a man or if you're going to live your life chasing approval of other people. Do not be embarrassed about what you want in life. Do not be embarrassed what you're into, what you're digging, or what gets you off. Nobody's business, honestly, so stop that shit. The third thing I want you to stop is comparing yourself to other people. Stop comparing yourself to other people, says the guy who compares himself to other people. <laughs> I, I, I struggle with this, and I know that it is one of the biggest beta behaviors that I actually actually do and participate. I know that it's wrong. I know that I shouldn't look at what other people are doing, what other people have, and I shouldn't think I don't have that or I haven't achieved that and I'm a failure. Guys, you've got to stop doing it as much as I do. So let's together decide that we are going to only focus on ourselves. Guys, let's do this together. Why don't we together make a conscious decision and effort to try to stop comparing ourselves to other people. All we need to focus on is ourselves, where we're going, our goals, our trajectory, and what we can accomplish and what we can control. The things we can't control, we need to let go of. If you're with me, gentlemen, and willing to join me on this journey, why don't you drop me one of these and be like, yo, Alpha, this sounds good because I do it too. Which brings us to the fourth behavior you need to let go of, and that is being insecure about things you can't change. Three of the biggest insecurities that are out there, gentlemen, is height, right? I know I'm a five foot six and a little, 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 little bit, and the deal is I used to be a little bit weird and insecure about my height. Now, I honestly do not give a shit. The other thing a lot of guys are insecure about is money. If you can change that, gentlemen, change it. If you need to get a second job, get a second job. If you need to budget, if you need to change careers, change it. The other thing that I was insecure about that you may be as well is hair loss. Hair loss is a confidence killer. I know from personal experience, I noticed that something was getting a little bit funky and so I was like, yo, I gotta do something about it. I gotta stop it. And so of course, you know what I did. I hit that link down below and go saw my boys over at Bosley. Hear that? Yeah, that's me not being insecure about my hair loss, gentlemen. Now, if you're somebody who's losing your hair and you're like, yo, I'm just gonna own it, right? Own it, that's great. Shave it off, buzz it off, don't comb it over because that absolutely looks beta. Own it, gentlemen. Bald is beautiful. And if you're confident rocking it, good for you. I am not that guy. And if you're not that guy, gentlemen, you can do something about it, but it starts with you taking action. The action I want you taking is take the free Bosley quiz. It's a quiz, it's totally free. They're gonna ask you four questions. And while you're there, the other thing I want you to do is grab the completely free guide to hair loss and hair restoration. It's going to go over the various treatment options. With that, you're also going to get a $250 Bosley gift card. The gift card, once again, is free. And you can use it if you go in and sit down and talk to a Bosley counselor and use one of their services. The other really cool thing about that link, guys, you can actually go in and schedule an appointment to go sit down and talk to a Bosley counselor about your hair loss. The other thing that you can do through that link 
think, guys, is go to Bosley RX. Bosley RX is a modern day approach to delivering prescription hair loss medication straight to your door. And by going through that link to Bosley RX, guys, they're actually going to give you your first month of medication for free off of two of the options. You know what that sound is? Confidence. Confidence that my hair loss is stopped. Gentlemen, the truth is, if you are somebody that wants to stop your hair loss, you can do something about it. But it starts with you not sticking your head in the sand, waiting and acting like it's not happening. Gentlemen, hit the link down below and go take the Bosley quiz today. Download the completely free, how much? Free guide to hair loss and hair restoration and grab that $250 Bosley gift card. Think of Bosley as the hair doctors, right? If you got a toothache, you go to the dentist. You got something wrong with your feet, you go to the podiatrist. If you got something going on with your hair, gentlemen, go to Bosley. They can help you, but it starts with you helping yourself and deciding, yo, I don't want to lose my hair because I didn't want to lose my hair. The fifth beta behavior holding you back is being obsessed with sex and pretty girls. There's nothing that makes you look more <laughs> pathetic than if you are somebody that is obsessed with girls. You're simping all over the place, gentlemen. You gotta act like you've been there before. Hey, yo, check out that spicy ass. <laughs> and, then she, and then she looks and you're like, mm, uh, <laughs> right, right. Because of course you're not gonna actually go up and talk to her because that would be way too alpha. Take this, have this, give it a squeeze. Oh, how's that feel? Feels good, right? You wanna do it again? Not too much because that would be confused as being weird and a little bit creepy. Gentlemen, you gotta, you gotta chill with the touching all the time. Also, that beta simping thing that you got going on, gentlemen, cut that shit out. The sixth beta behavior that is holding you back from ultimately reaching your potential is dressing like crap. All right, we talk about this all the time. In the first three seconds upon meeting somebody, people are forming opinions about you, right? And if your personal style, your personal packaging is all out of whack, you don't pay attention, you're like, yo, nobody cares, nobody pays attention attention. Gentlemen, people care and they definitely pay attention. If your style is out of whack or you're wearing sloppy clothes or you look like crap, gentlemen, people are not going to give you the chance or the opportunity that you deserve. The seventh beta behavior, gentlemen, is a lack of self-control and discipline. All right, if you ever want to achieve anything, you have to have some discipline. You've got to be able to focus on things that aren't necessarily fun, knowing that you're ultimately going to achieve something great. If you lack discipline, if you lack the ability to push down the urge or the impulses, you're never going to achieve your goals, whether or not that's financially, professionally, or socially. One of the most common traits, if you look around at successful people, is that they have the ability to focus and they have the ability to control their impulses and urges. And the last beta behavior that is going to hold you back is being judgmental of other people. Being judgmental is holding you back from reaching your goals and also making some amazing connections and friendships. You're so busy worrying about what other people are doing or what they're thinking or how they're living their life. Gentlemen, it's none of your damn business. Why does it matter who somebody wants to love or where they stick their wiener? Does it affect you? Does it? Do it doesn't, doesn't affect me. They're not sticking it in, in my face. Mind your own damn business. That's the best advice I can give you. Why are you worried? Why are you freaking out? Why are you getting all pissed off and can't because you don't agree with somebody or the way they live their life. Gentlemen, this is one of the most beta behaviors I see. So many people are worried and trying to cancel and pissed off and irate at people for being different. These people will never be happy or healthy or successful because they are so worried, so focused on things they can't change. If these people spent more time worrying about themselves, worrying about the things that they can change or that they can affect, as opposed to fighting and being pissed off and mad at the world for just being mad at the world, gentlemen, they would not only be happier, they'd be healthier, and they would definitely be more alpha.